Hi, my name is Phil Soto. For those of you who don't know me, I've lived in Toledo, Ohio my whole life. I went to school in Toledo, Ohio. I just graduated from college. I, I had a big decision to make. So I decided to start my first company, Buckeye Wood Entertainment. The reason being, I've been desired to tell stories. In one way or another, my whole life I've been telling stories. For my first story, I decided to tell something that was familiar because I thought it'd be the best way to get my my friends involved that I would know a little bit about it. So the concept of this Midwestern Goth Girls came up. It always fascinated me, the Goth culture and Goths in general. And it seemed a natural first project. My vision for the Goth Girls show is something like what Real World was for MTV in the 90s. Talked about issues that young people had in a very mature way. I want something similar to that for the modern day Goth Girl. I wonder what it is to be goth. Wonder that for a while. I think there's some prejudice against them. I like to explore that in my TV show. It's got to be fun too. It's going to be partying and concerts, nightclubs. Well, about two years ago, I started to have some friends that I went to the goth club with that found themselves unemployed and homeless. But actually more than a few, it was eight. A few men and a few women. And I started to think to myself, why do so many goths seem to have this problem? Is it some sort of systemic or unsystemic problem? And I kind of came to the conclusion that there might be some deep-rooted prejudices in society towards goths. And as I started to see my friends struggle to find jobs and places to live, I started to realize that for the women, it was even worse. I'd say, in somewhat of a way, if you dress and act goth all the time, piercings and tattoos, wear black clothes, some people in this society treat you like an outcast. And it might be fair to say that there's a male bias in our society. Well, when you have a male bias and you're already treated like an outcast, wow, I mean, that's just some really hard stuff to deal with. And that's when I thought, I just took it out. this could be a show. This could be something, a story that I could tell people that would be maybe a little inspirational, but just a good story. This is the historic Old West End in Toledo, Ohio. I can't think of a better place to do Midwestern Goth Girls. Look at the beauty of this house. Look at the architecture. It's going to be a perfect location for the show. People like to thank, first I'd like to thank Mike Kozar, who's taping this right as we speak. I'd like to thank Jason Keene, my lawyer. I'd like to thank Molly Kaufman, who's been working on Buckeye Wood Entertainment's website. I'd like to thank Stampazino, who's done all the graphic arts for this so far. I'd like to thank Boyd Hamilton, his uh, conceptual photography. I'd like to thank Chris Block, done some public relations stuff.